hello guys welcome back again so today's video will be on one way slab design of one way slab and um, we will see um, the design steps what are the, the steps to design a one way slab and uh, later on in the next video we will see the various checks that we have to provide after designing the slab so before i start uh, with the problem let me tell you there are two types of slab the one uh, the first one is the one way slab and the other one is two way slab so the slab spanning in one direction is called as one way slab while a slab spanning in two directions is called as two way slab and uh, in one way slab the tension reinforcement is provided only over the shorter span and in two way slabs it is provided in both the directions because uh, in two way slabs uh, the the slab deflects on both the directions so the basic um, criteria for determining the type of slab would be uh, depending upon the aspect ratio of the slab which is given as l by uh, which is given as the longer span upon shorter span so in this case um, our longer span is 6.2 meters and the shorter span is 3 meter so it is very obvious that uh, our aspect ratio is 2.067 something okay so if the aspect ratio of the slab is greater than 2 then it is a one way slab if it is less than 2 then it is a two way slab okay so let's start off with the design so the a design a slab of size 3 meter by 6.2 meter for a living room of a residential building um, they have given the floor finish as 1.5 kilo newton meter per meter and um, use m20 concrete and fe415 steel okay so the first step would be to determine the depth of the slab so this is this will be a trial depth and um, if um, our checks are satisfied we will use this depth only so the first step would be to determine the depth of the uh, depth of the slab so this is determined by the um, spine by depth ratio the formula is d is equal to span upon basic value multiplied by the modification factor so this is given in clause number 23.2.1 in the is code there are uh, various values for the, the basic values for various types of slab that is continuous slab there is simply supported slab then there is cantilever slab for cantilever sla slab it is 7 for simply supported slab it is 20 so uh, this is a simply supported slab so we will take the basic value as 20 and uh, the modification factor is assumed somewhere in between 1.2 to 1.5 so our depth would be th this span would be the shorter span the basic value is 20 for uh, simply supported slab multiply by the uh, modification factor so um, I'll assume the modification factor as 1.5 it comes to around 100 mm so I'll assume a value greater than 100 mm I'll assume it as 125 mm so if I take um, the size of bar as uh, 10 mm and a clear cover of say 15 mm so the total depth of the slab would be total depth equals the effective depth plus half the diameter of the bar that is 5 mm for 10 mm bar it would be 5 plus uh, take a suitable clear cover so uh, 125 plus 5 is 130 say 20 mm so our total depth would be 150 mm okay this was the calculation of depth that second step would be to calculate the effective span of the slab okay so this is also given in the is code uh, it is given in clause number 22.2 .2. so the is code says that uh, the effective span would be out of these two first one would be the span of the shorter span of the slab plus the uh, effective depth 
so our span is 3 meter plus the effective depth is 0 0.125 meter that is 3.125 and in the second case it should be the span of the slab plus the size of the end supports so if we assume that the end supports are of um, 300 mm that would be 0 0.3 meter and that the total would be 3.3 meter so out of these two we have to choose the smaller value so our L effective would be 3.125 meter so in all the further calculation we will use this value of the effective span now the third step would be to calculate the load so basically there would be two types of load that is the live load and the other one would be dead load if any other load is given to you then you have to also calculate that so the first one would be the dead load dead load is um, the weight of the slab so let's assume the density of concrete as 25 multiplied by the depth of the slab that is 0 0.15 so we get it as three point seven five kilo newton per meter square. Okay, and the floor finish is given to us as one point five kilo newton per meter square, and the live load is not given to us, so we'll just assume a live load. So the live load is, let's say, 4 kilo newton per meter square. So if we add all these up, uh, we will get 9.25 kilo newton per meter square. So this is the total load acting on the slab, but uh, we need the uniformly distributed load that will be uh, calculated as the load per meter so if we divide it by 1 meter we will get 9.25 kilo newton per meter so the next step uh, once we get the load the next step would be cal the calculation of moments okay so now we have the load which is acting on the slab which was 9.25 kilo newton per meter so with this we can also calculate the maximum moment the slab is uh, subjected to which is same as the simply supported beam WL square by 8 so we will also multiply this by 1.5 because this load was the working load so W is 9.25 multiplied by the effective span that is 3.125 divided by 8 multiplied by 1.5 so the total moment will be 16.93 kN meter so the next step after this would be to calculate the uh, the depth of the slab using bending moment consideration. So the first step would be check for depth. So most of the time your slab would be safe in this uh, in this check. We will use the formula for singly reinforced beam 0.36 FCK XV max B D minus 0.42 XV max m is 16.93 is equal to 0 0.36 multiplied by 20 and xv max will be 0 0.48 d because uh, the steel is for uh, fe415 1000 because uh, we assume as a uh, unit width of the slab d minus 0 0.42 into 0 0.48 d so everything is given only the uh, value of d is unknown if we uh, put all of this on the calculator and solve for d we will get d as 78 mm which is less than 125 mm which we assumed earlier so your slab is safe in this condition so after this the next step would be to calculate the area of tension steel So again in this case we will use the same formula which was for uh, uh, the simply supported beam that was AST equal to 0 
एफ सी के अपॉन एफ वाई वन माइनस अंडर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस फोर पॉइंट सिक्स एम अपॉन एफ सी के बी डी स्क्वेयर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई बी इंटू डी एंड ना ऑल प्लग इन ऑल द वैल्यूज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ट्वेंटी अपॉन फोर वन फाइव वन माइनस सिक्स सिक्सटीन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री इज द मोमेंट फॉर यूनिट विट ऑफ द स्लैब एंड द इफेक्टिव डेप्थ इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम स्क्वेयर वन थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सो आई गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एस टी एज फोर जीरो टू पॉइंट वन सिक्स एम एम स्क्वेयर वंस यू गेट द एरिया ऑफ स्टील यू कैन ईजीली कैलकुलेट द स्पेसिंग फॉर द इंडिविजुअल रीनफोर्समेंट्स सो द स्पेसिंग कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाई स्पेसिंग इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ वन बार अपॉन एरिया रिक्वायर्ड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन थाउजेंड दिस इज द विट ऑफ द स्लैब बिकॉज वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द स्पेसिंग पर मीटर विट so the area of one ten mm bar would be pi by four multiplied by ten square upon four zero two point one six multiplied by one thousand. so we get spacing as one ninety five mm. you can also check for maximum spacing criteria. the maximum spacing is for for slab is three multiplied by d or three uh, hundred mm. so our spacing which was calculated here should not exceed 3d or 300 mm this is given in clause number um 26.3.3 so in this case our, our spacing is 195 mm which is clearly lesser than these two values so our slab is safe okay so we also have to check for the minimum seal and maximum seal ast minimum is 0.85 b into d over f y so that is 256 mm square and ast maximum is 0.04 b into capital d which is the overall depth that is 6000 mm square and our calculated values in between these two values that is 402 mm square so our slab is satisfying the criteria for minimum and maximum steel this is given in clause number 26.5.1.1 okay this is with the actual calculation of steel and the spacing the next step would be to uh, check for all the data that you have uh, calculated as per the design and um, we'll see it in the next video